So, Dr. Pepper, what's up? Okay, Elijah Wan. It was some conversations that I've had, and it's been brought to my attention that, you know, it seems that you said some things about your wife, like she doesn't have any life skills, and it seems as though you talk down to her. You know, I've had to see the conversations and everything and the way that you speak to her, and I'm very, very concerned about that. Listen here. I'm not with this hearsay and you come to me with all that mess, okay? All you trying to do, Dr. Pell, is make me look bad. I got my wife under control. She knows her role, okay? That's my wife, not your wife. My wife, okay? So, yeah, I'm not here with all that nonsense. No, no, mm-mm. I'm a man. If you, anybody got issues with it, they come to me. I ain't got time for it. Me keep it. Koya fam, welcome back to another video of Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka E Dub. This is my lovely wife. Courtney, also known as Coco Barbecue. Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. And this is Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationship reviews and entertainment. So tonight we're going to be talking about Mary at First Sight. So if you're brand new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you're watching us on Facebook, Make sure you hit like and follow. Say oh, I thought I heard like a phone or something. Uh, make sure you hit like and follow and on all social media sites, comment down below. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all see this new shirt? Yeah, go to our Koya <laughs> store to get merch, tea, What did it say? Hat, barbecue. Barbecue. Beautiful black queen. That's right. Damn, honey. There's a lot of y'all barbecues out there. Look at that chicken leg yeah, right there. That chicken leg. Chicken leg, <laughs> man. Why you gonna point that out? You know, you gonna sell, sell it back for 400 years. <laughs> and if you want to get a discount on makeup from TLB, the lip bar, then... I don't mind that piece, honey. Just go on over there to the lip bar <laughs> and get your Yo, makeup, okay? You know, vegan, black-owned company. Go on over there to the lip bar. I'm wearing, um, I forget. Hot mess. That's it. That's it. Uh, right now, yeah, that's <clears> what <throat> your main, your main, <laughs> your, your mind is. Hey, I don't work all four hours of sleep, so y'all gonna have to bear with me. I don't care. I'm four hours of sleep. I'm kind of, I'm trying to push through it. But yeah, our barbecue shirt. My, my husband came up with this idea. Yeah. Beautiful black queens. He said he can't wear it because he ain't there. But yeah. he came with I, I came with an idea and I can't wear the shirt. If I did wear that shirt, y'all going to be looking at me side eyes. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So for the most part, it was really diving into the actual couples. So I can't necessarily say, oh, this was boring. It didn't bring a lot of drama, which we don't always have to have that. But guess who said who who they miss? Who? <laughs> Who, oh, me? don't try to act like that. Who, I, I kind, I kind of miss a little <laughs> now. Kind of miss. I want to say I miss. I do kind of miss a little drama. I ain't gonna lie. I well, ain't gonna lie. we're gonna have a low, a whole bunch of it, honey, and just fast and the furious it, next it, episode. You know, it, you know, every season they got that one person that brings it. You know what I'm saying? Chris from like a uh, season before last, K last season. Now, well, it, 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 did y'all catch the episode from next week? We got Fast and the Furious on there, honey. Folks <laughs> flipping our car. <laughs> uh, oh, I saw Bad that. Boys number two. <laughs> I saw that. Well, I said, she gonna jump out of a movie Man, car. Man, and then she in the hospital. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, wait a minute. This show should be called... <laughs> Not married. Therapy at first sight. That's they what all, it is. They all need some therapists. Therapy at first sight. I called it. I called it because, yeah, people on here need some deep. There is should be a a a a part of it that they either get you therapy or you been had some well, kind got, of therapy paper. Well, they got no, no the expert. They, they don't go mental. I know, but they it, go relationship. They, okay, okay, okay. Fair point. Maybe next season <clears throat> y'all should get a fourth. I threw it out. A fourth member on there, like a therapist. You know what I'm saying? So you, they can have therapy throughout the whole season. You know, instead of waiting to like 
Ooh, here comes the expert four or five seasons in. Uh, no. They need to get this before they even go into the relationship. So let's take them through some classes of therapy, whether they say they had it or not, and let's go deep into this so that the nut, the other couple, they'll know what they're dealing with. Because this right here is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Man, we won't have no show. We won't sit there and watch five boring couples, man. Well, they'll be healed, honey. All right, so let's go on into it. So Owen and Katina are shopping at the grocery store, honey. And um, he picked up some hot fudge. And he was like, she was like, what are we going to do with that? <laughs> yeah, y'all probably done did it, honey. Y'all stop playing. I mean, Cole, would you, would you, why would you even say that? I don't think they did. You don't think so? What did these doing? I just think they flirt around with it. You know, some people flirt around with it. I don't think they did it. You know, because the way Katina was looking towards the end, like somebody help her. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, um, he said, what are we going to do with it? Blah, blah, blah. He joked about her cooking and, um, you know, and then they will have a cookout. Well, he said, his mama said, leave that girl alone. If y'all watch the, pe- the, what is it? After party one time, he said, mom said, leave that girl alone. I listen to what my mom said. My mom said, that's it. That's it. I'm going to listen to what she said. So she tell me to do something. That's it. So she told me, leave her alone. If I ain't going to get in there and do it myself, just leave her alone. Right. Then I portray that. Then I do it right. Not really, but go ahead. So anyway, um, I wonder why would they be playing that sad music with Liz and Mark because they they played because the sad music. It's a sad situation. It's, it's sad. so sad it's when they first sad. came on the scene when they showed that scene tonight with Mark and Lindsay. The music so sad they had the cat outside on the balcony. Oh yeah, cat didn't, I didn't wanna, even see that. Yeah, I said, ooh, the cat don't even want to get involved. <laughs> <laughs> So, of course, they're fussing. So, I guess Kat went to give them a smoke break. So, they fussing, and Lindsay said that she needs consistency. That's her whole thing. Consist- well, at first, I thought, well, Lindsay, oh, mm, it's you. But now, I'm saying, mm, yeah, Mark do got his own issues, honey. I, my baby. You just realized, yeah, I've been to when Mark was saying something about his mom, and he always goes back to things he's comfortable with. Regardless how bad that situation is, he always goes back to that. To me, yeah, bro. You, you, you been realized yeah, Mark yeah. had some issues. Yeah, I been realized that. Um, he needs uh, healthy communication. She try, She's tired of being the only one that is showing up. You know, and we see that yeah. Mark sometimes check out. Some man, okay. you know, we know Lindsay sometimes can be uh-uh. too, too much. All the time. No, okay, so okay, all the time. But the, the point time. is, the when she do time. try to do the right thing, and Mark like. Towards the end of the episode, when she was like, you know, that the volleyball thing, and she was trying to reach for Mark, even the experts pointed it out. It's right. like, he didn't want her to touch him. Yeah. Sometimes, you, even though, yeah, you know, you know, it's your wife still. You know, she, you know, she reach out for you, reach yeah. back. You well, know? I think he probably checked out. Yeah. Um, Lisa said she hasn't um, seen positivity. Mark said he never packed a bag and left, honey. He, he's staying now, right here. I, I want, that's mm-hmm. one thing he's. I wish I could agree. do a skit off of that, honey. That would take about four, five changes yeah, and everything. I'm talking about every I'm time. Out of here. I'm leaving, packing my stuff, getting up out of here. I'm sorry, baby. Go ahead. Better hurry if I go to the next. All right, so now let's move on to the couples talk to Doctor Cal. I mean, the the couples are talking to Doctor Pip and Pascal. Go ahead, baby. No, go ahead. Switch. No, go ahead. I'm gonna limit your time. Go ahead. So, um, Steve and Doctor Pip are talking. You want to talk about that? Kind of zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> so Steve and Noy, the, Steve is talking to Doctor Pip, of course, but they're talking about Noy and her social media posts. You know, he feels like that she be saying some around the way stuff about him in their marriage. And Dr. Pepper said that's not a good way. Steve don't feel like that's right because it really kind of makes him feel, you know, some type of way. Keep our private business private. Don't put it all out there for the public. Okay. You want to say something? Mm-mm. And Dr. Pepper said, well, maybe she feels, you know, she has some fear. There's some fear base there. And also, you know, they talked about him, you know, pretty much getting a job to making her feel secure. So, or talking about that. She talked, pa- Noy talked to Pascal and um, she was talking about the social media posts as well. But well, Noy concerned about the finances. It's a fear of hers. And that, you know, she wants to know, can he hold down a job? Noy said she never asked Steve those questions. I don't wonder why, why, why would you ask that man that question? 
Well, all you need, is, all you need to do, make forty thousand dollars a year. Yeah, I know, man. Uh, I'm not saying that's not. No, I'm not saying that's not much. Uh, I'm not saying that's a lot, but still, forty thousand dollars a year. That's all you got to do to make that happen. And we got that from the after party, from last oh, yeah, week. Yeah. yeah. So I thought, uh, you, I thought you were saying we got forty thousand dollars from the after party. I, like, I ain't see that man. What you been cut doing? Cut that chick, honey. Cut that chick. Y'all uh-huh. see us. Y'all uh-huh. see us. Anyway, so Katina's talking to Pastor Cal. She told Pastor Cal that you know uh, about the dating app and everything. Pastor Cal said, um. Did you ask Elijah one about the deep questions as to far as to why he act like that? You know, what what is it with the people on this show that don't ask the deep questions? The all they do is ask the Sorry. surface questions. Why not peel some of the layers back and find out what makes these people tick? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, why are you so offended, Elijah one? Just dating out. What happened to your? You know, something happened in the past to make you react the way you react to me because you are so outraged over this dating app that I'm not even on. Right. Or Noah asked Steve, why are you so afraid to get a job, Steve? Why? What's wrong? You know, is it you got enough money to support yourself? Ask the tough questions, man. That's why sometimes I feel like it's production because any normal person will ask these questions. It's just me. I know I would. Heck, on the second date, I'm going to ask you your credit score. Cause I need to know. Cause if you got a four hundred, no. You didn't act in my credit score. You yeah. never did. Yeah, man. because you kind of told me volunteer your credit. Okay. Right. I didn't give you my credit score. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I kind of looked at you and said, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she, said, mm, she got money. So anyway, um, Pascal. So she said no. She didn't ask the deep questions, and you know, as far as who he is, Pascal said, ask about their. She he asked about their sex life and everything. How things going? He don't want no details. And stuff like that. Yeah. Pascal said, I don't want no details. And so, Pastor Cal also asked, well, is he attracted to you? And how do you know? She said, because he hit me on the butt. Now, you said you don't want no details. Oh, because a man hits you on your butt, he's attracted to you? And then, you know, when they in the bathroom, you know, sometimes he kiss up behind her neck. Yeah, don't food. mean nothing. He like me. Girl. You know he how like many men would slap a woman on the butt and kiss him on the neck and you, you don't mean nothing to that person? <laughs> it got to be something more that a lot of one is doing to show Katina that he loves her or care for her. Well, you're right. Can't say the little word with a lot of one because he said he ain't love with a new. Mm-hmm. Um, but she said she didn't want to be one of those bleep dizzies. I don't know what she's saying, the F word or what, but yeah, she said she didn't want to be one of no bleak deals. And he was like, what is that? Basically, I think somebody that, well, she did explain it, that, you know, had sex with somebody and she took caught up in them, the emotions and how the good the sex is and everything yeah. till she realized, I really don't like you. And well, so... Well, to me, it's a factuation. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people are factuated. People think it's love, but it's not love. It's actually a factuation with good sex. Yeah. So Pascal was like, um, she don't want to get caught up in that. He said, well, first of all, um, being in a marriage is lust. There's there's lust in there. And basically, it's okay to do that with your, ma- with your man, your husband or your wife, because they still going to be there at the end of the day. The issue with the lust, you got to control that lust. Cause you can be married, be lusting, but it might not be with your spouse. I promise you, honey, yeah. better lust within, yeah. lust within. Yeah. Um. So, but you had said that she, you think she's afraid. I think Pascal said that too. Afraid who? That, yeah, she's afraid. She's not a hundred percent sure, so she's not finna. And you yeah, like, yeah, you know, give up, give up her cookies, and you know, it's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like she gives up, give up, gives up her cookies. <clears throat> that her attraction, or her her attraction, or what word am I looking for? I'm sleepy, y'all. I'm for real. I'm so tired. Uh, I don't even know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. It'll be a, a, a tighter connection right. with him, and it's going to be kind of hard. If he says no, she's going to take it harder. That's right. what I'm trying to get at. Um, Dr. Pepper talked to O. Mm. Dr. Pepper wants to know what is something that you want to change. Well, you know, my wife is good. Like, you know, I wouldn't change nothing. I just want to say continue, continue to be yourself. Just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it's really nothing. Like, mm, 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 mm. So O kept, you know, uh, 
Katina be Katina. He talked about that dating app and how he pretty much blew up, but he didn't say it in a way of how he blew up. He was like, yeah, I tripped about that. Yeah. It, he made it just seem like it was just a little light thing. Yeah, the way he made it, the way he made it sound like it was something like, oh, ain't nothing big. I kind of got a little upset, and, you know, we moved on. We good now. But there's an underlying condition, the reason why you snapping like that over a dating app that's she's not using all right but he revealed that on the after party on why he was like that yeah and i told y'all when you're an old player and you've been playing the field you've been playing the women and you finally decide to get serious with somebody the slightest thing that makes you feel like okay i'm projecting because like she said they now he done it before to other women in the past so now he thinks she's doing that to him so yeah you know guys like that you know you're gonna react to ways like that you know but but a larger one, uh, like I said, Katina needs to blink twice if she needs help, man. Because at first I thought he was going to make it. <laughs> but after this episode and the way she's been looking lately, <laughs> just like that, yeah. So, Dr. Um, Pep said, did you apologize for embarrassing her in front of all the people and stuff? And he was like, yeah, I apologize. You know, we talked about it and stuff like that or whatever. Of course, mm -hmm. she skated over it. Um, Dr. Pepper said, yeah, I heard that, you know, some conversations was said and that you, you pretty much talked down to your wife. You said she don't have life skills. Um, she's behind him in life. And when <laughs> Dr. Pepper said that, that triggered a large one. Oh yeah, man. And I think it hit a nerve because he knew he was wrong. Yep. And Dr. Pepper called him out on it. And that's when, you know, he went off on, uh, basically talking down to Dr. Pepper. And you can't get no down at the he next. Ain't That's lying, right man. Down there. And it was saying, you know, I don't want to hear about no hearsay nothing like that, man. You know, they come to me with it. You know what I'm saying? You know, all you trying to do, Dr. Pepper, make me look like the bad guy. And he up and told you know, I said, okay, you're right, babe. He really don't do he really don't respect women. I don't, don't. care if they have titles or not. Don't. Because later on in the episode Dr. I mean, Pastor yeah, Cal said you, something to him and called him boy, boy. He didn't say nothing to Dr. Uh, to uh, Pastor Cal, right. but with Dr. Pepper, hey, you trying to make me look bad? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't care what you got to say. I know that's my wife. I know what I'm not here to please nobody but her. You know, so yeah. Yep. So, um, O said that's not funny, and um, ain't got. I ain't trying to. Uh, said something about whoever said to say it to my face. You well, know what I'm saying? somebody from production says, well, like you said, they be watching it. They watch the tapes. No, oh, heck yeah. So, yeah. I don't appreciate you saying that. She needs to um, say no on decision day if it's going to be like that, you know? She's scared to say no now because, you know, look how you be tripping, man. Excuse me. So, um, he said, um, he said in the first few weeks, he was, you know, he, it was a little rough as far as her cooking, and he kept getting on her about that. But he said they done iron things out. His mama done talked to him and told him, leave that girl alone. Oh, he didn't say that, but that's what it did. The way he was dogging her cooking out in the store this episode, like, you can't cook, let's have a cook off. You know, how you cook the ribs, you know. It's like, he still don't believe in her cooking, mm -hmm. so he's still putting her down. <laughs> So, Noah and Steve talk about how um, the conversation with, with Dr. Powell, Dr. 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 Pepper, Pal. Dr. Pepper oh, and Pastor Cat. You join them together like the Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> he talk about um, her posting on social media and that how is not, you know, good oh, for Noah. their marriage. Noah, Noah, newest, nice. You said you're going to call her a nuisance. No, I said a, a nuisance. Yeah, a nuisance. Yeah, she's a no nuisance. One. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, when he brought up that social media, you know how somebody be so dogmatic about something they like to do? That's what that scene reminded me of. Because she said, you know, Steve said, regardless of how I feel about the post and social media and what Pastor Cal said to you about the social media, you ain't going to change it. You, Pascal, his own person. You, your own person, and I'm my own person. So that's what I like to do. I mean, I'm not. I'm still gonna do it, regardless if it hurts your feelings or not. You, we both can agree to disagree. I said that ain't nothing. Did you agree to disagree? Yeah, on? man. <laughs> sad. when you post some stuff like that, it hurts his feelings. And she said that I wasn't talking about you. 
And then it turned yeah, around. Do with you. Well, yeah, then again, yeah, you know, I can kind of that post kind of relate to what we're going through right now. So yeah, so of course it's talking about them. Steve said he ain't signed up for this, honey. So Noy said um, she also talked about him working, f- feeling financially secure. And Steve said, well, we'll sit down and talk about a plan, you know, try to get a plan so together because evidently the girl ain't never said nothing. She talked to everybody else about the finance, including her sister brother. Uh, but she didn't say anything. Best thing. You know what I got out of that scene? What? That nuisance or noy. Or Noah is setting her ways when, when something that she wants to do, she's oh, gonna yeah. stick to it. Yeah. Steve, on, on the other hand, he's willing to compromise, compromise. to be flexible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, um, let's go. Let's move on to Mark talking to Pastor Cal. So Mark said he, it, well, first of all, he was on camera on his phone or whatever they were doing, and he was just saying he's exhausted, he's mentally drained. Um, they showed clips. I don't think production like Lindsay. They didn't show clips of Lindsay fussing here, Lindsay fussing there, Lindsay fussing here. So I'm gonna leave it. You know I'm in the bowling pro- alley. You know what thing? One thing about production. I think what happens what happens with production is this: they find that one person they don't like. They show the clips, okay? It's kind of, you know, change the narrative of that person. Yeah, no change no okay, 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 okay. Uh, Alyssa, that was the first one, right? <laughs> but she's gone. They ain't got no, well, we ain't got nobody to pick on. Ah, oh, Lindsay. Let's get <laughs> well, I don't think they find, I think that these folks be making them mad behind the scenes. It could be, but every season i see one person oh, they, they pick go, on. They, That's what I'm saying. They, they find they, one person, person to pick on. The one person get on their nerves. So, let's see. He said he gonna agree with me tonight. He's gonna fight fight with me every opinion I do. No, we agree to disagree. So Pascal said, if you don't tell a person <laughs> how to treat you, they will always treat you how they want to treat you. So basically, man up, Mark. Don't let this woman treat you no in a kind of way. That's what Pascal was saying. Yeah, Mark probably saying to himself, if I man up even even more, then I might have to lay hands on him because he tried to man up and that's why I think Mark just shuts down he shuts down and walk away because Lance is the type of person to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing to Baby. your breaking point mm-hmm. well she had her breaking point next episode so let's go that's well that's funny she could have a medical condition like falling out the car <laughs> <laughs> I just really think that sometimes Lindsay do stuff for attention. I think she's uh, yeah, very much of a teacher seeker, and yeah. that's what that's what that was, right? I think, in my opinion. You think so? This woman, I know this next week. This woman is willing to risk her life of jumping out of a moving car to get attention. Yep. Uh, People do it all the time. Boy, right? She do the so, assignment. Look, <laughs> some of them make it. Some of them don't. Apparently, she buried the maid because next scene. <laughs> she <laughs> next I said, what the fuck is that there on the stretch? All right. All right. That's next week. Ooh, can't wait to do next week. I promise you. I can't wait to do next week. I'm trying to see how I can do that in the intro, honey. <laughs> Let me see. I gotta see how serious it is. Now I don't know how serious it is because it is really serious. I'm not gonna make fun of it. But just a little bit of what I saw, it didn't seem to be that serious. I, I get to like I put it like this: if it ain't serious and it's something we make fun of, it, y'all gonna see us see us on location in the car. <laughs> you gonna run? <roll. laughs> gonna push you? Out. You gonna you roll out the car? Oh, yeah. You gonna say, "Go, baby, go!" go. You got it. <laughs> And then, then, we got to find an abandoned street to do it. All. And then we're gonna, we're gonna be UAB. Can we use that stretcher for a minute? <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all don't know how far we'll go, and y'all better keep stay tuned, stay tuned. Cause these little minds be going. So anyway, and if somebody tried to do it, they got it from us. All right, all right. So anyway, um. Pascal, if you don't, <laughs> Pascal said that Pascal went straight to it. He said that your mom dealt with that. You know, tell me more about your mom. So he said his mom dealt with depression, depression, and when she was in her moves and stuff, she would fuss a lot. Or when she was very sad, mm-hmm. and he said, "Well, Mark, are you like your dad and Lindsay like your, you know, like Mark. your mom?" And he started to tear up. Because he started to see some similarities. Yeah, in that. It's, I guess it's Lindsay, Lindsay, when she's starting to, when she starts to kind of, you know, act out 
you know, it triggers Mark, and Mark basically shuts down. So he's trying his best to avoid not being like his dad, I guess. Yeah. So, um, he, and so he said, are you afraid of being like your dad? So all of that was really, really touching. And hence the reason why uh, she said everybody need to get therapy before they therapy come on the show. Therapy at first sight. Man, I'm just saying, you know, you think throughout the screening process, it will come up, therapy will come up in the screening process. You would think that. But see, I think what people try to do is, and, and if, if you don't know this, and I had to... I had to learn this myself. Sometimes people try to find people, love, relationships to fill voids in their life or what their mama didn't give them, their daddy didn't give them, all that stuff. They don't realize what they're doing, but that's what they're doing. And I think for Lindsay, she won't mark to play a role in feeling in his life, you know? And then when he do all that fuss and he pretty much shut down because, no, no. Well, I think another thing too, this is an you know, experiment, okay? So maybe... They know these people got issues, so they're gonna try to force them together to see whether it'll work or not. I don't know, but you know, you just, like I said, this show is an experiment now, you know. So, so let's move <laughs> on. I mean, that's a good point. Lindsay and Doctor. Fine, I fine. She agree with me with something. Fine. I just didn't want to seem like I moved on so quickly, like I dismissed your part. You always had do that, man. I, I, I I'm so used to I, it now. I, okay, good. Cause I, I don't ever it. dismiss your part. Yeah. I just move on because, I mean, what? You want me to be the period to it? You want me to be calm? I mean, what you want me to do? I, mean, I don't like to have paragraph? it. Paragraph? Yeah, be okay. the calm one, you know okay. what I'm saying? Be the calm one. Yeah, so, okay. Right. That's the calm one. Then we go on I to do the say okay No, sometimes, sometimes you said. Oh golly! Did um, you hear what I just I said? Heard did you, you said. did you understand the words that come out of my mouth? mouth? I understand, uh, baby. I got you. No, I always got I your back. I never do you like that. Every time you talk, I say, "Okay, yeah, that makes sense." Then I go on. You, <laughs> Ooh, made me feel so insignificant. <laughs> <laughs> and you are not. You're never insignificant. So Lindsay, um, Dr. Pepper, and her were talking. You know, Dr. Pepper. Little bitty, honey. Lindsay, yeah. well, here. Then she said, you yeah, wore the heels, heels too. Yeah. It's not just the heels. It's the camera angle when they was in the kitchen. And Dr. Pepper kind of leaned on the counter. And the counter, the, like the counter was right up here to her, her head. And she stroked her. Yeah. Arm arm I said, ooh, that was a bad camera angle, no, man. it was just her. I know she's sharp, but they made it look, make her look like she's a... Uh, Oompa Loompa. I don't want to go say that. That's what she, she, some she people, it look well, like. Some people might have the Oompa Loompa disease. That ain't no disease. Y'all know what, <laughs> what you know what the open loop is. I don't know from the uh, chocolate. Like, I thought it was the chocolate Wonka pie. Oh yeah, it is from there. Yeah. You say Oompa, you don't know what Willy <laughs> <laughs> Wonka and the chocolate yeah. pack, them Oompa Loopa. All right. Oompa Loopa, Oogie Oogie Ooka, Oompa Dee Doo. I got a lot of yeah, chocolate, chocolate for you. Yeah. Oompa Oompa Doopy Dee Da. Oh, they did that. They did look kind of like. <laughs> Oh? Look Kim. They call her Oompa Loompa? Yeah, you see that mean the cow caught Lil Kim at the right angle. Oh, and no. And she had all that work on her face. I said, ooh, they wrong, but they so right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get back to it. Um, so she talked to Dr. Pepper and, you know, um, she told Mark, told her that Mark is inconsistent. Um, she said that I told him you're going to get in all, you're going to get and in the beginning, you're going to get all of me. And then if you mess up, honey, that's all. You ain't getting no more. <laughs> and then when Dr. Pepper no said, more. don't say that. Like, you putting a, you finalizing yeah. it. That's not something that you should do. Dr. Pepper said, don't forecast it. Don't go ahead and see what it's going to be like and telling you what the future going to be that you ain't going to get no more. I just wonder what the Lindsay mom used to say to her back in the day. You know, cause Lindsay said her mom used to cut her down, made her, made her feel insignificant and yeah. stuff. What's, what did she used to say to her, man? Because mm -hmm. the way she projecting stuff to Mark, like, you know, you know, you give it to me, you don't, I'm going to shut you down. Maybe her mom used to say something like no, that. she probably messed her up mentally. I you know, know that, I know that, yeah. But yeah, it, when you are a young child and you fragile and you looking for your parents to pour into you, to, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and for them to say something that, oh man, it's damaging. People still dealing with, yeah. you can see with that today. Yeah, I know, especially when it comes to, comes, comes to women that 
Some women could be, can be jealous of their own daughters now. Oh, yeah, and, for sure. And you know what I'm saying? Why would you be jealous of, jealous of, uh, jealous of your own blood, your own they, daughter? I don't watch enough of y'all to fix my life, man. It'd be a, yeah, it's a lot. So Dr. Pepper um, <clears throat> said, anger is not your friend. Remember that, you know, in this marriage. Lindsay cries because um, she said that, you know, she... Sometimes it's angry, but she's really sad. She uses anger, but it's sadness. And Dr. Pepper said, you really need to deal with that sad, sadness. Right. And that's the reason why I think Lindsay drinks a lot to cover that sadness. Yeah. And I, I think that's the reason why, like you said, she likes attention because she, her mom probably never gave her that attention when she was small. So that's how she gets her attention by jumping out of cars and going to the hospital. <laughs> You're laying on stretches on camera. My question about this is, uh, I don't know, did she take a sip to the hospital or the ambulance came again? No, out? Mark took her. You think Mark took her? Yeah. I don't know. Mark probably said, you know, you jumped out the car. You on your own, <laughs> You made me look bad. Production probably said, get up, Jack. Come on, get in this car. Honey. All right, we got to save that for next week. Save that next week. And I got a lot for next week. <laughs> <laughs> There's more. <laughs> so, um, J Jasmina and Dr. Pepper are having a conversation and... Um, Dr. Pepper said, what worries do you have? Jasmina said, we have really truly came a long way, but she is concerned about his past. And Jasmina said that Michael is, um, do, 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 do. oh, the type of person as far as trust, where she don't, tr he don't trust easy. You got to earn the trust. She said, for me, I trust you until you give me a reason not to. That sound like me. That sound like my husband. No. I no. first of all said, you got to give me a reason to, Not, I trust you in the beginning. Yeah. I just said, I was saying okay. that. I trust you in the beginning. Like, I would trust you until you give me a reason not to. That's he good. will not trust you, period. Because <laughs> you got to earn your trust. You got to earn that trust, yeah. man. So, to each his own. That's the way I am. Yeah, yeah. When you try to trust somebody from the get-go, that's how you get, get got. Mm -hmm. So You can get got either way. No, no, yeah, no, no, you can. No. I promise. Haven't you got got? <laughs> We just talked about folks came on camp. You done got gotta got 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 got. Yeah, so a, you got gotta gotta gotta. Yeah, gotta, well, that was a different situation. No, Chad. No, Chad. No. You got gotta gotta got. Well, got, let me rephrase got, that, got, got, Let me rephrase it. You get, it's more likely you'll get got when you trust somebody from the get go. Then, no, no, then, then. Trust them, you know, somebody earning your trust. That's all I got to say. Yeah, man. I don't be honest with y'all. I'm tired. Um, I'm tired. So they're going to say, why you did it, then? Because I'm obligated. <laughs> what you hollering for? <laughs> at them because they hollering at me. I'm obligated. Stop they, that microphone. They hollering at me. <laughs> yeah, I can see them comments in capital letters right now. Why you do it? So they hollering at me. I'm hollering back at you. Because y'all are slave drivers. Woo, I'm so glad you got this video out early. Child. Woo, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for y'all slave drivers. But anyway, that's because we want to go and get out the way. I'm just telling you, we got stuff to do. <laughs> All right. About to move on. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So Jasmina says she don't mind him as far as the touching thing and stuff like that because we know that there is no touching that is really taking place. And like we said, Mike skid. Mike skid, man. You know, <laughs> you can talk about the conversation with Pastor Cal. Yeah, basically, Mike was telling Pastor Cal that you know when it came to touching that at the beginning, uh, Jasmine used to kiss him good morning. You know, and he asked her, why do you do it? And Jasmine said she felt since they married, she was obligated. And I'm like, Michael, I don't want you to do something if you don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I want you, when you kiss me, I want you to want to kiss me. You know what I'm saying? That's how Mike, that's his mindset. I want you to do something because you want to. I want to kiss you, baby. And then you want to come here and disagree with me. Oh, no, that's what I do. But listen, um, but Pascal said, well, why did you do that? Just like you in the beginning was kind of doing it until you get it. You know what I'm saying? You might have been doing an obligation, but then how you started seeing how it was working. But then as far as with Jasmina, why did you tell her to stop? Because she would have continued to do it. Then it would have started feeling this. She would have wanted to do it. I can see where Pascal coming from, but I also can kind of see where Michael yeah, coming from. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't do something because you feel like you're obligated other than making these videos. I'm obligated to make these videos. But, uh, you know, when it comes to physical touch, I don't want you to want to touch me. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember 
Well, I, I used to ask women, like, you don't mind if I could hug you or yeah, you, you don't do. mind if I put my arm around you? Because I didn't want to do it because if I forced myself to do it while I hug consent, you know, I Just feel... being a gentleman. Yeah, you know, why are you touching me? And then I feel rejected. Then when you reject me, I go back in my shell, you know what I'm saying? So I, can, I get it. Yep. So you don't have to worry about none of that no more, baby, do you? Because you got me and you already know how it go. All right. So Mark come home to Lindsay and they cooking. And uh, I don't know if it was a shortage of food, but she was serving him them little bitty chickens. Well, her chicken was bigger than his. Maybe he's on a diet. I don't know, but you don't got nothing to eat with that chicken, no yeah, green beans, no fair. rice, no nothing. I said, ooh, that, that plate looked dry. And then, he, <laughs> and then, then he go with that fork. I, I said, why are you cut it up and pick that thing up and, and put it in your mouth? <laughs> I said, oh, goodness, Lindsay and Mike, they just, I mean, Mark just awkward looking together sometimes. So they talk about what happened with Pascal and Dr. Pepper. And basically, you know, they share their piece and stuff. And of course, Mark starts to tip again, tip. And Lindsay, of course, come for him. And she gave him that hug. And, and it was just like a stiff hug. And it was a stiff hug, but it was kind of weird and awkward. And kind of like, uh, like Mark was trying to hug his mom. Because you know how you sometimes <laughs> you know, mom, you like, you got your head in your mom's you know, his shoulder and she was hugging. He said, baby, it's going to be okay. And that's what it seemed like to me, you know. Um, Moving on to Mike. You're right, baby. <clears throat> that's exactly right. That's it. I See, sometimes I need that, that's, you know, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. That confident building confidence builder uh words of uh encouragement affirmation affirmation good words so mike and jasmina um share what they talked about with dr pap dr pepper and pastor Cal. you're gonna combine them two people regardless yeah. aren't you yeah dr pap mm -hmm. so yeah <laughs> dr pap <laughs> That's a, I can see that abomination in my head right now. <laughs> Two heads and four arms. Come on, man. So it wasn't much to share on that. Um, Steve and Noah talk about their finance, getting from their computer. She still knows, still was looking crazy. Man, I'm just saying, Steve got money, man. He got a laptop. And he know how to use it. To me, if you know how to use a laptop with a spreadsheet, you know something. I had, this, was that a spreadsheet? I don't that know. Like what, word document. Uh, well, it could be, but he had it all fancy like. Hmm. You know, I just I, thought it was a dark screen. No, he was doing something. He was typing. Yeah, he was typing. Well, it was fancy. <laughs> yeah. and then, oh, you, know how, you know how you get sleepy and you grog it and you crank it? That's where I'm at right now. And she keep ticking and poking, poking and, and poking, poking and, and ticking. So, um, also... <laughs> You know, he talked about, you know, well, you know, basically if I got to get a job, you know, but, you know, I got entrepreneurial skills, so, you know, I may not be a full-time job. Oh, in fact, you know, you may want to take a break from life, honey. You may want to quit your job. He didn't say those words, but that's basically yeah, what he said. Yeah, so you might want to, you know, take a break or whatnot. It's okay for him. taking breaks. So for, for him to say that, I said, okay, Steve might got a little money. He might got a little money. He may have more yeah. than 40000 Yeah. You know, Steve probably said, that's all you need, 40000 Steve, I had like $500,000 on the bank. I said, all right, I'll give you the 40000 and I'll act like I ain't got the $460,000. So I'm going to add that somewhere else. <laughs> so the couples are headed to play volleyball. I wonder where they get this from because they didn't always do this, but they did it on. What's that, volleyball? Yeah. What they did it on, um, you know, with. Um, Top Gun. Gil and uh, Mirla yeah. on that episode. <clears throat> So they going to pay, and but there's a secret that, that Dr. Pepper and Pastor Kyle. You want to say Dr. Pyle? <laughs> That's what you want to say. Are spying on them, and they are listening to their whole conversation and watching them. So they seeing how Katina can't hit a ball. That's like me, girl. I don't like that volleyball. That stuff used to hurt, honey. Because I, I used to hit it wrong. Man. Used to hit it wrong. Like they say, hit it like that. They hit it like that. Hated it. Yeah, you, you probably can't do it now. Why? Yo. Yeah, you be complaining about, ooh, I threw my hip out. Ooh, That'd my knee. You. Ooh, my kid is here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah. So, you don't need to do it. But, um, but yeah, so they was watching Katina, you know. Um, they did say, Elijah, one, the only one that's concerned about his wife, you know. Stuff Why like you that. Want? How he was concerned about his wife trying to show her how to hit the ball belt. He just wanted to teach that woman something. That's the only reason why he looked concerned. 
And then, Plus, it make them look bad. What, it, what you said? It was whites against the blacks. Yeah, wasn't it? How they get down? Well, I said, okay, I see you mad at first sight. You got them over here. Segregation. <laughs> segregation. Segregation volleyball, man. Come on, man. You should have mixed that up, man. So, anyway, the couples, after they not play volleyball, they sit down. And, and, and on top of that, we get destroyed over there. Y'all, you know the score like 25 to 2? So <laughs> Who said I'm on that side? Huh? You said we. Oh. What are you trying to say? <laughs> trying to... We <laughs> getting destroyed. Speak for yourself. You don't know what side I'm on. You got that shirt on. Oh, you, that's right. I you know about, ooh, she's confused. No, she... <laughs> <laughs> so, a couple sit down and they have a conversation. And so, um... Um, I think that was Steve that asked how things are working out in your marriage. So each couple talk about, you know, what they got going on. And Liz was saying that, you know, both of them, no, Dr. Pepper was saying that both of them are afraid of their emotions. Look how Mark is not responding because Lindsay was, of course, crying. Somebody else, when he got her the tissue, Mark, Mark looking at And up. like you said, Mark probably gets checked out because you see your wife when they're crying in front of your peers, man, you don't console her or you don't go there and wipe her face off or anything. And I think he's always been like that. I think that he just pretty much checks out when Lindsay get like that. You know how a person like cry wolf. I and, get that. And sometimes you don't know if she adding too much sauce like it seems like she gonna add next week. See, that's what I'm saying. She's crying now. So <laughs> you, better, <laughs> you better console her while she's crying because if not, if you're not consoling her right now, she's gonna keep amping it up. Now, you're gonna be in the hospital waiting for her in the waiting room. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> so, so oh, yeah, you had to do, oh, you do it right. You rub her leg or something. No, you didn't want to do that. Now you gonna spend five hours in the emergency room. <laughs> she jumped out the car. So anyway, um, <clears throat> um, so they show O, <laughs> they show O, and his big old mouth just cutting up. Uh, he was, Doctor, he was slicing Doctor Pepper up. She wasted my time. What she was saying didn't make sense. I don't need to listen to what she got to say. You know, you know they, 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 they're they supposed to be experts. They don't know what, they, what they're talking about. And little did he know, little Dr. Pell was listening to all of them. Keep talking, Elijah Warren. Yep. Keep talking. And uh, he said 90% of what she said was a waste of time. <clears throat> and that's what she came out. Mm -mm. Huh? Let's not forget this huh? part. Uh um, don't forget this part that he said that um she gonna tell me some I talk down to my wife. I asked my wife that question. What you, and, what you, and, I was like, I have, she been saying I talk down to my wife. I talk that. down to my wife. I talk down to my wife. See? She is see, I don't talk down and see what she saying. This the face she gave me, the same face she gave me when I said that. Yeah. I said the girl is looking like the girl probably said, I don't want right. to Yeah, she she's right. So right. I don't want to say it in front of people because I don't want you to go off on me. Hmm. Like I said, Katina, if you need help, blink twice. So, she need help. Because when they were doing a confession and she was standing next to the larger one in that confession, yeah, man, she, you know, I, this is my wife. And here, yeah, 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 yeah. And she was looking like that, man. It's like, man, I saw that expression on Katina's face. I said that look look like a woman that needs to needs help. Mm -hmm. Like she ready, she's ready to get out of she there. She bondage. Yeah. Um, but she wants to work on her marriage. She wants her marriage to work. Yada yada. And you, I said to myself, oh, she look like she in prison. Mm -hmm. And then you said that, oh, she look like she in bondage. I said it I to said myself. She, I said like, she look like a hostage. Okay, yeah, hostage. Yeah. yeah, she do it. She did. So Dr. Pepper and Pascal come out and they have a conversation. They talk to them. So basically, they sit down and talk talk about hold Elijah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When Dr. Pelvin and Pastor Cal came out, Elijah wanted to give this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shut up now, man. Yeah. Because they were like, oh, man. Oh, you know, just like they've been pumped or right. something like that. So, you know, they did. She said, Elijah, I did hear everything that you said. Um, <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, as far as that, you know, I'm not going to go back and forth with, you know, the, you know, he mm -hmm. say, she say stuff or whatever, but you did make it clear that you guys are in a better place and right. that's great. Mm -hmm. So we just going to vibe on that, you know, and what you want to say, no, <clears throat> she did talk about, um, as far as Lindsay and Mark 
and how they seem to be, you know, not, you know, disconnected. There's some disconnection there. So, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Um, as far as Mike and J Michael and Jasmina, she was just saying, you know, y'all, marriage with all of them, just fight to make it work. And also, <coughs> she said something about, uh, I think Jasmina said something about she's not feeling Michael, <clears throat> you know, when he touched her or whatnot. And uh, Dr. Pelt said, no, I'm going to give you a word to put under there. I put it in there. Yet. Because that yet makes a big difference in a statement, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can share with you because when you said that to me, I said, well, that seemed like you yeah, were saying that from experience. Yeah, because when me and her started dating, she was, was tough. Uh, me and my wife started dating. Uh, I think I asked you something and, and you said, you gave me an answer and the answer you really didn't sit well with me. And I was just thinking when you know, Dr. Pelper said that tonight, I said, if you would have said yet when you told me the answer, I would have felt so much better. So that yet makes a big difference. Yeah. And then you, excuse me, I think like um, like Dr. Pepper said it to Lindsay, you're not putting a finale to right. it. Like there's more, you right. know, more you're making it hopeful right. <clears throat> that it will get right. better and stuff. So that's pretty much it, y'all. I'm ready for next episode, honey. Let's just fast forward on to that. So, but yeah. On that note, that's all I got. Don't forget, y'all know we always drop the after party um, on Thursdays, Thursday <laughs> evening. So we'll drop the after party on tomorrow. But on that note, you guys, that's all I got. What about you, baby? That's it. All right, you guys. We will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. Always put God first. Deuces.